Super Rugby Power Rankings for Round 11. Uh, still a fair bit of movement, although this week a remarkable amount of teams who remain the same. Uh, there's still not that much in this year's competition. You feel like a couple of wins or a couple of losses and teams could either be right back in it or well off the pace. It is kind of a unique season in that regard. Uh, but there's one team, well actually, at each end there's kind of a team which is setting the pace or, or lagging well behind. Lagging well behind, just drop one team on the floor, uh, is the Sun Wolves. That two wins they're sitting on is starting to look pretty bad, and that was quite the hiding they got from the Highlanders. Uh, interestingly, in Superbrew, I think about 30% of people actually thought the Sun Wolves might get up and, uh, yeah, upset the Highlanders in that one because I guess they were at home. They would put in a decent performance against the Hurricanes the week before, and it just all went to custard. So, uh, yep, pretty disappointing from the Sun Wolves in that one. Well off the pace in 15th. Good crowds, though, supporting a losing team. Got to give those guys credit. Uh, next and down two spots are the Chiefs. Uh, it's a couple of poor losses now uh, for the Chiefs. You know, I just as they kind of look to be getting things right. Perhaps it is the accumulation of all these injuries kind of adding up. But yeah, home loss and now a pretty big away loss. It's not looking good in Chiefs country. Uh, it's going to take a pretty good effort from them going forward, especially if we've got the Highlanders next week. Uh, away to um, to salvage something from the season, see if they can sneak into the playoffs. Next, Waratahs down a whopping four spots. They lost at home. They did have a red card for pretty much half the game and another yellow card at one point, so it's hard to read a whole lot into that, but the result is a home loss uh, to a team which had been in poor form. So... The Waratahs head off to South Africa with everything to do. They've certainly given the advantage to some of the other teams over in the Aussie Conference by not getting a win there. At least as kind of give themselves a bit of a buffer before that tour. So uh, they'll need to do the job away. We'll see if they can. Uh, next, probably their best week thus far, the Highlanders uh, over in Japan. Pretty good win, eh? 52-0. Can't complain too much about that. Uh, the Sun Wolves have been kind of on and off, hot and cold. This was definitely a cold week, and the Highlanders were hot. They did not take the foot off the gas. They probably could have scored more points, actually, if I'm being honest. But uh, still at 52-0, it'd be hard-pressed to find too many complaints about that result. So they're up two spots. Uh, we'll see if they can kind of keep things going, because that win has really put them back in the, um, in the race for a playoff spot for sure. Next, the Blues were on the bye, so nothing really doing for them. They can just sit there and be happy they have not dropped further. Uh, the Sharks are coming in at 10th. The Sharks got an away win. Uh, it was over the Waratahs, and like I said, they did have a man advantage. So the Sharks probably could have pressed that advantage a bit harder. But at the end of the day, it's an away win after some pretty horrible results, uh, results at home. So... Take that turn around, go up uh, a few spots on the power rankings, and um, good luck next week against the Crusaders. Uh, next, speaking of teams playing the Crusaders, it's the Lions. The Lions are down a few spots. They have um, they've gone into Christchurch and they've been beaten pretty comfortably. They didn't really look like they were in that game at all. They did show some glimpses of good form in that they managed to hold the Crusaders out at times, but it was still far from being enough to getting a result, far from being enough to get even a losing bonus point. So uh, it can't take too much away from them because everyone goes to Christchurch and loses. So there's no, um, there's no big shock there, but a loss is still a loss. Uh, next, and the Brumbies are also down into 8th spot. Uh, they had a close loss in Argentina. They did put in a pretty good effort. Perhaps they could have won that game if they'd uh, played their cards a bit differently, but it wasn't to be for them. They did pick up a losing bonus point, so a bit of credit there, so it's not a huge drop from them. But, um, yeah, I guess they're still on the hunt. 
they got the Blues coming up, so that travel factor does start to add up from Australia to South Africa to Argentina, back to Canberra. Uh, how well they can kind of manage that could be uh, could be important as to how they go against the Blues next week. Uh, next, and the Rebels on the bye. They get a bit of a benefit. They are up one spot. Uh, basically, they didn't have to do anything, but the Brumbies and the Lions, who were both above them last week, lost. So... Good job, Rebels. Um, you are not the first team to benefit from the bye. Uh, next, the Stormers are up into sixth. And uh, I guess who would have thought that? Because the Bulls did seem like that team to beat in the South African Conference, and the Stormers beat them. Uh, they're up four spots. They've knocked off the top South African team. They were actually favoured by the bookies. Maybe I should have had a bit more faith in the bookies, because I thought the Bulls with the likes of Vermeulen and Pollard would be able to get the job done, but um, no, the Bulls managed to pull it within a point at the end, but uh, still a very big effort from the Stormers to get a win there, and um, just keeps that South African race very much open. Uh, next, in fifth, the Reds are the same as last week. They are also on the bye. They did not win. They did not lose. They stay exactly where they are, and their recent form has been good. So they are up there. See if they can continue. Uh, the Bulls, they lost, uh, it was away and it was close, so it's not a huge drop for them, but they are down a spot from third, so out of the top row are the Bulls. Again, that was a result where they, a game where they could have put their foot down into the African Conference. They were the only team which had a record of five and three, everyone else was kind of like four and four, or four and five, nobody else had a positive winning record, the Bulls were the only team, uh, and now they're five and four, so still a lot of potential, but that if they were going to emulate what the Lions have been doing in recent years, that needed to be a win and they didn't get it done. Uh, losing bonus point, I guess they take that. Uh, next, and the Jaguares are up to third spot. The last time the Jaguares lost was round number seven. So it's been quite a long time. Uh, they've had some good wins in South Africa, a good win at home now. They've also spent some time uh, on bye weeks. So uh, it's been favorable for them. They've got the Stormers visiting, so maybe they're the team that's going to step away in the South African Conference. Still not 100% convinced, but um, round 7 is a wee while ago now. It's been so it's around 11. They're just gone, so keep it up, Jaguars. Uh, their defense is certainly improved. Next, Hurricanes kind of hit top gear. Uh, I don't know if they closed that much of a gap on the Crusaders here, but it was certainly a good win over the Chiefs. It was convincing. Um, it's been a while since we've been able to say that about the Hurricanes, but um, good stuff. Keep it up. See if you can put the pressure on these guys in first, but these guys are still a mile above everybody else. The Crusaders are very comfortable winners over the, the Lions at the weekend. It did not look like losing at all. Uh, once they get in front, yeah... Can't really see many teams, um, you know, sneaking away with a win. I think somebody, if they're going to win in Christchurch, is going to have to get a big lead and just try and hold on as that onslaught comes in the second half. So, yep, Crusaders are just looking very, very good. It's up to the rest of the teams to up their game to catch these guys because they are not going to relent. Um, yeah, very much an efficient machine out of the Crusaders. So, yeah, these are the rankings for round 11. Uh, you guys let me know your thoughts. How would you have these rankings? It's a good mix. you got um, you know, Aussie and New Zealand teams uh, in that bottom row. It's been a mixed season for the Chiefs and the Highlanders. Same with the Waratahs beat the Crusaders, but lose to the Sunwolves. South African teams all kind of in the middle uh, with a couple of Kiwi teams and then the Argentinian team at the top. So, um, yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts, and I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.